Hey guys, and welcome back to another HZ Studios tutorial. Today, I have gotten some questions on how to edit the actual layouts for Pokemon Nuzlocke series and any general Pokemon series. So that is what we're going to do today. First up, I have a very simple Pokemon Emerald version layout. Just for the sake of the tutorial, I'd rather make it more simple, just easier for me to uh, adjust and edit. So of course we have our logo up here, the transparent space for our video here, but we have no Pokemon boxes at all. So that is what we're going to do. I had this image of Trico. We're simply going to adjust this. So first up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control N. We're going to go down and we are going to make the size of our boxes. Now, of course, using the resize tool with our V or simply our uh, control show transform controls up here, we can adjust the size to fit our layout. So I'm just going to do, we're going to do 300 by 300 pixels. And this will be, we'll name this the Pokemon box. There we are. So what we're going to do is I'm simply going to, first up, I need to delete all this black box around them. This is what happens when you just copy and paste images from the, either the internet or other sources. So I'm simply gonna quick select that and just delete all that I do not need. There we go, just select all the black, make it nice and simple. There we go, and the rest of that, perfect. So now we have Trico. Now let's hit Control A to select, Control C to copy, and then we are going to copy him into this box. So of course we can move him down to size, we can put as much of him in, it, in the actual box as we want. That's a good size. Go ahead and put a stroke around him to give him that nice good look. A little drop shadow, why not? What we're simply going to do is we're going to make a colored box depending on the type of our Pokemon. Since Trico is a grass Pokemon, what we're simply going to do is click on our I key on the keyboard to select the eyedropper. As you can see at the logo, you're simply going to select on whichever color you would like. I'm going to do this darker green right here. Then you can simply hit your G tool and select the gradient. I'm going to, and it will auto populate a gradient in your gradient selection. So here's our sort of gray, green to white. I'm gonna go ahead and change this to a complete white and adjust that to your liking. There we go. Now I'm simply going to hit G, hold from the bottom, simply do that, or from top to bottom, and you'll get this nice gradient. And of course you can adjust this to however you want. I'm gonna go ahead and crop out all that stuff, perfect. And now you simply want to put the name or you can even draw, apply a uh, stroke to make it look more like an actual box. Go ahead and put the stroke on the inside and as you can see, it does form this slight black box around your Pokemon. Next, you're going to add your text. I like the American Captain text. It's a uh, quite a good text that I use a lot. So we're going to go ahead and Go ahead and use our text tool. Now this is, as you can see, this is very large and it's behind Trico. So first of all, let's just say his name is, why not, Jerry. That would be good. So you see we have Jerry. First up, we're going to change the size of it. 36, let's try 60. And you just obviously want to adjust this to wherever it seems best. You can automatically just move that to wherever you would like it. I'm gonna make this size 72 font and then I am going to adjust it. There we have our Pokemon box, so I'm simply going to save this as to create a PSD, so that'll be Pokemon box, there we go. Go ahead and click OK. So now this is our Pokemon box.psd. Go ahead and exit out of Trico, there we go. Oh, go ahead and open up the PSD that is just on your desktop, there we go. And now you can edit this, you can put whichever Pokemon you would like in the back, you would put whatever uh, name you want, you can adjust all the size. But now that we have this, we're simply going to save it as, and I would advise putting all of this in a folder just to be able to keep track of it. Save that, and of course I am going to name it Jerry in all caps because that is the Pokemon. Go ahead and open that Jerry up. Very nice. Hit Control A, Control C, go back to your layout, and you are going to 
simply drag and adjust the size to match your layout. So if I want to put Jerry right there, and then I can simply duplicate him and duplicate him multiple times to where I have six of these. And I can just hold shift and drag down, and I can duplicate this again, shift and drag down, and I can simply do all of these, duplicate the layers, hold shift, and then drag them over here. And there you have your six Pokemon boxes. So that is how to edit your Pokemon layouts. If you guys like this tutorial, don't forget to hit the like button. If you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. Shout out to Metatex YouTube. I'll link his channel in the description for this tutorial idea. There will be another Pokemon tutorial on how to actually adjust the layouts for deaths and uh, general changes in your team in the next video. So be sure to be on the lookout for that. And I'll see you next time. And I hope you know I won't let you